We're here at the Marlin Fitzwater Center for Communication, and I have a story to tell you about when we were dedicated 15 years ago. Um, you're standing in the center, and it was a state-of-the-art center, um, one of the best in the region, and people flocked to honor Marlin Fitzwater and uh, President George H.W. Bush, who was here for the dedication. But Marlin wanted it to be more than a name on a building. He wanted it to be a, a place where people could come and find their voices in the public discourse. And we have managed, after 15 years, I think, um, done very well in meeting that goal. And we could not have done that without the support of people whose uh, very careers and lives have embodied our mission to educate leaders of conscience and public communication. So we are very pleased to have with us um, at the Presidency and the Press two uh, people at the top of their profession, two uh, fine Americans, and we would like to present to them a Fitzwater medallion. And I will give it uh, first to Bruce. Bruce. Thank you. <laughs> and Peter. Thank you very much, Professor. And if you wanted to say anything, that would be... You first, Peter. Well, I'm very gratified to receive this. Uh, in, uh, in teaching and in, in public speaking, I, I'm invariably asked, who was your favorite press secretary? And I frankly always give a Democratic and Republican uh, mm -hmm. uh, press secretary as an example. And I always point to Marlin as the gold standard. And that's why uh, receiving this uh, is, is a very gratifying moment for me. And this is a, a beautiful likeness of Marlin. And Marlin, was uh, the press secretary who dispensed information that both the public and the reporters who uh, reported to the public could, as we say, take to the bank. And so uh, this is a very special moment. Thank you very much. And uh, it's been very special to be here and learning from these students and learning with them over the past few days. Well, thank you. Well, uh, you know, let me add to what Peter said. I'm delighted to be here. <coughs> I'm proud to be here, too. You know, Marlon was my boss, and uh, um, I, I learned so much from him and admire him so much. And, uh, you know, we worked together all that many years ago, and I, I think that uh, the approach that he brought to his job, um, you know, has stood the test of time. I think we need more guys like Marlon Fitzwater um, in places like Washington, D.C., and so uh, I'm just delighted to share in this honor. I'm happy to be here with these students as they embark on their career in journalism, and, uh, you know, uh, um, I, uh, I want to thank uh, uh, Marlon and the president that we work for, George H.W. Bush, for all the opportunities that uh, I had in my career uh, in working with them, so I'm very pleased to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.